One of the most fascinating areas of fascia research is the so-called catapult mechanism. Studies have revealed that an elastic recoil occurs when you convert energy temporarily stored in tendons and fascia into a free push. It's fueled by the impact force of each foot strike. The recoil generated by our Achilles tendons, plantar fascia and the fascia associated with our muscles provides up to 50% of the propulsive force for each stride. Tendons are the major driver of recoil. At rest, their tough collagen fibers line up in parallel wavy lines, but under tension, the wavy patterns straighten, thus allowing a stretch of 4 to 6 percent. The stiffer our tendons, the more energy it takes to stretch them. If you're an athlete trying to improve your leaping ability, you should know how to optimize the training of not only the red fibrous muscle tissue in your body, but also the white fibrous tissue, since it functions similarly to a highly elastic rubber band that can be stretched substantially, even without it tearing apart. It also can release the energy it has stored once our muscles contract. The best thing about all this is that it is trainable. Our latest study results show you how you can train the catapult effect with the black roll. The catapult effect can also be described as an energy return effect. The energy return effect is not only found isolated within the fascia, it much rather is a complete interaction between tendons, ligaments and muscles. While muscles have a high level of elasticity, tendons are considerably stiffer, but they're still able to store and return energy. Naturally, this storage and return mechanism can only function properly if the alignment of the entire connective tissue structure allows for this type of pretension and stretch. The energy stored in the tendon is later released to help power the increase in energy of the body, and most importantly, just at the right moment when the athlete needs it. <laughs>